if you happen to be on a slower internet connection, uh, as unfortunately many people are, it's really advantageous if you have a way to toggle on and off certain things like JavaScript images and Flash without having, uh, like say, a blocker style. Like there's Flash block for Firefox, there's no script, but sometimes you want something just really simple. And uh, I found one, which I really like actually, it's called Quick Java. And all it does is that it just adds buttons that are toggle buttons for on or off. If it's blue, it's on. If it's red, it's off. It's real simple. Once you have it installed, just go and customize this toolbar area. And you'll notice at the bottom, you can enable one, two, three, four, five, six buttons. But the only ones I'm going to put here are JavaScript. I'll put them right after the home button. Flash, images, and CSS. And that's it. Now if I do a blank page, and I will clear out my cookie, cookies, cache, and active login, so I clear those, and I disable JavaScript, Flash, and images, and I go to say yahoo.com. See how fast that loaded? Just like that. It's amazingly quick. Now some things will look screwed up because the images are not loaded, but it's fast. That's the whole point. And amazingly, Yahoo Mail Classic will work with JavaScript Flash and images turned off. If you go to mail.yahoo.com, now I'm going to log in with an account I don't use. Now it gives you a warning where it says blah 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 blah, but the last option here or you can proceed directly to Yahoo Mail Classic and if you do the mail loads. Now it keeps trying to load something over and over again so when you get to this point just stop. Back to mail. Ah, it's wonky when the JavaScript's not running. There we go. Stop. You'll eventually get it to work. You gotta bear in mind that no one uses Yahoo Mail this way or any other webmail this way. But the fact that you can actually do this and log in is just nothing short of incredible. Now if you tried to do this with Hotmail, because I know some of you are going to wonder about that. Eh, nope, won't let you in. You have to have JavaScript to use Hotmail. Gmail I don't know. I haven't tested with Gmail. But let's just say Flash and Images are disabled, but I turn on the JavaScript. Now I just toggled it back on, it's as easy as that, and hit a refresh. Oops. Let me try that hotmail.com again. I think I gotta load it again. Yeah, there you go. And now it prompts me to sign in. I still have flash and images disabled. Uh but it will log in and work, no problem. If you go to other bandwidth intensive sites like uh, blizzard.com, no flash or images. Now it gives you this big old warning that says this site is best experienced with flash. But you can go if you scroll down, you do see the news and the other parts of the site, so it will load. Um, now the craziest way to do things is with all four of these off. You have no JavaScript, no Flash, no images, no CSS. This essentially looks exactly like web pages used to look, say, in the late 1990s. Like if I go to yahoo.com again, for example. It's very, very, very basic. But it's also very, very, very fast. <laughs> <laughs> which is good. Uh, any site, even PC Mac will work like that. Any site will work like that. And you may like this better because it, maybe it's easier on your eyes. Who knows? And when you're in this mode, you can go to Options and where is it? It's under Content. Yeah, Content. It doesn't have to be Times New Roman. You can change the font to whatever you want. So if I use uh, the proportional as a sans serif instead of a ser uh, serif, everything changes the Arial. And no matter where you go, it will be an Arial font by default. That's in the options, content, advanced. Uh, if you pick sans serif, it chooses what you have set for sans serif. If you pick serif, it picks what you want for serif. For the sans serif area, you can pick any font you want. If I did like Calibri, for example, and I chose sans serif, now everything's in Calibri. You get the idea. Let me just change that back. And there it is. Advanced. Make that 
serif again, back to the way it was. There we go. And if I toggle CSS just like that, now it's back to the way it was. I like that you can just turn it off and on that easily. And as with the other things, you can toggle them off and on just as easily as well. I prefer this greatly over no script in Flash Block, just because it's easier. Now it's not as configurable, this is true, you get a lot more configurability because uh, you can do it on a per site level with Flash Block and no script and other add-ons of that type, but it doesn't really have it as easy as this. So you may want to give it a try.